Sailing out of exotic Tahiti, the Aranui 3 is a state of the art passenger freighter and the lifeline of the remote Marquesas Islands. Upon your arrival, the crew is already hard at work loading the vessel with a wide array of supplies that will be taken to the far reaches of the South Pacific. Once aboard, you will be able to enjoy all that the Aranui 3 has to offer. The spacious, fully air-conditioned cabins are equipped with queen or twin beds, personal bathrooms, and showers. The Aranui's dining hall offers the finest in French and Polynesian cuisine, along with a casual atmosphere. The Aranui's on-deck pool provides an opportunity to cool off and relax poolside as you enjoy the beauty of your surroundings. Later, gather for cocktails and join your fellow travelers from around the world as you meet new friends and engage in some lively conversation. As the talk comes to an end, so does your day on the Aranua. As dawn breaks upon the waters of the Pacific, the Aranui arrives at its first port of call. Uapo is the most populated island in the Marquesas, and the next stop for the passengers and crew of the Aranui. The day is devoted to exploring Uapo's rolling hillsides, lush forests, and spectacular mountain peaks by an entertaining dinner at Rosalie's in the village of Hakahau. After dinner, it's time to say farewell to Owapo as we head back to the Aranui. Nukuhiva, the largest island of the Marquesas, is the Aranui 3's next port of call. Passengers are taken by jeep to the top of the Tumi Plateau to be awed by Nukuhiva's picturesque beauty and to partake in a mountaintop picnic, compliments of the Aranui staff. After the meal, visit the Cathedral of Notre Dame of the Marquesas, built with stones of different shapes and colors from the six Marquesan islands. Explore many of Nukuhiva's archaeological sites or take in a traditional dance performance. <laughs> the next stop for the Iron Nui is Fatuhiva, the southernmost island in the Marquesas chain. The island provides access to comfortable hiking paths, and for the more adventurous, numerous riding trails allow you to take in the island sights and horseback. After a day of exploration, you and your fellow passengers can get an introduction to the island way of life by attending craft demonstrations, shopping, and participating in the local customs. Even if you do have two left feet. The Aranui's next visit is to Hiva Oa, the largest of the southern islands and the final resting place of the French painter Paul Gauguin. Among the attractions are the completely rebuilt House of Pleasure, where Gauguin lived, the Calvary Cemetery where passengers can visit his gravesite, and the Paul Gauguin Museum, which contains items related to his stay on Hiva Oa during the turn of the century, as well as copies of his works. After spending time with Gauguin, you and your fellow passengers might make way to the village that is the home of the largest stone sculptures and giant tikis in all of the Marquesas. Many scientists believe that the carvings on these sculptures share a common link with those found on Easter Island. After an exciting 15 days, the Aranui arrives at its final island stop, Pacarava. Here you can lie back and relax on Fakarava's Golden Beach, the perfect respite to two weeks of adventure. As your Marquesas experience ends, 
the Aranui captures it all in a Polynesian night aboard ship, complete with a Polynesian feast, all set to a Polynesian beat. As the party continues into the night, images begin to appear unfettered, borne aloft by wings of memory, echoes of paradise, calling you back, calling you back, calling you back.